Hey guys, it's Dahe. Welcome back. Um, today I'm going to be going into detail of the three essays that are part of the Columbia Business School application and kind of go through what I generally um, touched on in my personal essays. So let's get into it. As of right now, the three essays that I wrote for the applications are the same on the current um, admissions information page like just on their website so i'll read through them first and then i'll go through each and talk more about what i personally wrote okay so i'm on the columbia business school admissions website right now and so right now it looks like the prompts are the same as last year when i was preparing my application they might change from year to year but from what i've seen if even if they do change usually the core things they ask for are pretty similar they might change the wording around but um it usually won't change dramatically so right now for the essays there is one short answer question and three essays so the short answer question is what is your immediate post mba professional goals essay one is um what are your career goals over the next three to five years Essay two is, why do you think Columbia Business School is a good fit for you? And essay three, the most elusive one, seemingly random, is tell us about your favorite book, movie, or song, and why it resonates with you. So those are the three, and I'll start with the first one. Okay, so starting off with the short answer question, I'll just go quickly over it, but it's basically, what is your immediate post MBA professional goal? And it's a 50 character maximum, character, not word. So this is literally like, what is your dream job immediately post MBA? They just wanna get a sense of like what that role is. So personally, I said brand manager for a direct-to-consumer fashion or cosmetics um, brand that might have been over 50 characters. So I shortened it, but something along the lines of that. And obviously, they're not going to keep you to it. Like after you graduate, you don't have to literally have that role. You can always change. But um, just in that application, they want to get a sense of if you have a clear and realistic role in mind. All right, so essay one, I'm going to read through the whole prompt now, is through your resume and recommendation, we have a clear sense of your professional path to date. What are your career goals over the next three to five years? And what is your long term dream job? And this is a 500 word limit. So this is the longest essay, but mind you, 500 words is really not long. So you kind of the trick about MBA essays is that you need to you need to get to the point like it's not prose we're not here to become writers we're we're more like you know business people so it's like efficient get to the point basically and so in this one how i divvied it up was three to four paragraphs so the first paragraph i had a short introduction and the important thing is to be mindful again with the word count don't do an entire recap of your career and journey to date because they kind of already have that information in your resume. It's not a place for recap. Like it's a great place to, you know, kind of allude to things or point to experiences that guide your goals in the future, but it's not a place to recap. So basically in the um, first paragraph, I really plainly stated like, hey, in the next three to five years, this is what I want to do, which is basically a brand manager for a fashion or beauty brand, whether it be a conglomerate or a direct-to-consumer startup. I'm kind of open to both, but this is the direction I want to go into. And then in the long term, I would love to explore more entrepreneurship or perhaps continue down the line and become more of a leader within that space. So I kept pretty general and just stated that in my first paragraph. And then in the second paragraph, I kind of detail out what that means for the three to five year goal. And, you know, by details, list out maybe one or two companies that are of interest in you, of, to you that are, you know, maybe you know that Columbia already has connections to this um, company. There's already like a club, um, like a professional club within the MBA program that has these connections. So always tie back why Columbia makes sense for this professional goal and why, you know, perhaps being in New York City would also provide an advantage. So after listing out kind of like 
the you know the functional things like this is the role I want to do these are the companies I would be interested in in my third paragraph I kind of spoke and elaborated more on why I have a passion for this space so this is where I got into my content creation where I've been blogging for over 10 years I share content on Instagram YouTube and TikTok and this is really a community space for me to connect with like-minded people be creative yet be always in tune with what the marketing world is up to so this is where like I really got into that um, and again always connected back to like how you want to impact the industry you want to go into and why the MBA makes sense to propel you in that space and also in the long run allow you to become a leader in the future. And in the final paragraph, I expanded on that long-term dream job, which is part of the prompt, so don't forget to answer it. And what they mean by long-term, they don't put like an X number of years on it, but the way that I interpreted it and basically what they mean is, you know, 15, maybe 20 or even 10 years down the line, like far enough that it's, it's not like super clear yet. But generally, like, what would, where do you see yourself in the long run, basically? And again, they're not looking for like an answer that you know this is for sure gonna happen. And I don't think they're all necessarily looking for like a role, title, or company either. It doesn't have to be super specific, but a clear enough direction of where you see your trajectory going. So personally, I continue to say that, you know, I want to continue becoming a leader in this space within fashion and beauty because for me, those things have always been a vessel of self-expression. It's important to me. I've moved around a lot in my childhood, so being able to express myself was a big important uh, part of my identity. And also just the aspect of community marketing where it's not just about marketing and like showing products but it's really about connecting with like-minded people from all over the world finding a sense of belonging in a modern context so i kind of spoke more about like how i i really see myself developing um and continuing to innovate in this space and i gave two examples of um columbia business alum that are currently leaders in this fashion and beauty space that I really look up to. So make sure that you always like bring it back as to why Columbia Business School makes sense for these short-term and long-term goals so that you know at the end of the essay it all makes sense and the decision to go to the school is almost like a no-brainer. Okay, so now on to the second essay prompt. This one's a little longer. Um, we believe Columbia Business School is a special place. CBS proudly fosters a collaborative learning environment through extracurricular activities like our clusters and learning teams and co-curricular initiatives like the Phillips Pathway for Inclusive Leadership, which aims to equip students with the skills and strategies necessary to lead in an inclusive and ethical manner and career mentorship opportunities like our Executives in Residence program. And here's the prompt. Why do you feel Columbia Business School is a good fit for you academically, culturally, and professionally? And the limit to this essay is 300 words, which is insane that like you have to talk about academics, culture, and professional fit within 300 words. So that's basically 100 words per category that they mention. So again, you literally just need to get to the point like when i was drafting my essay honestly the mo most difficult part for me was choosing what i should even mention like what is worth mentioning that it is worth spending one of the 300 words on so again super straight to the point so i divided my second essay up in three paragraphs i had one for academics one for professional and one for cultural and I really think in essay two they're looking to see if you've done your homework and your due diligence and if you actually know what CBS is all about so even before writing this essay and starting to draft it out I would highly encourage you to attend webinars number one to read literally the entire Columbia Business School website like understand the program understand what kind of courses they have what are their values how are the, the classes conducted? And if you can, try to reach out to a current student or an alum to just get that one-on-one -on -one FaceTime and understand 
a little bit about the culture of Columbia Business School. And of course, you know, they don't expect expect you to know everything but they're definitely wanting to see if you actually have an interest like a genuine interest and curiosity about the school because they get so many applicants so what they're looking for is to see if your fit makes sense and if you did um, your research so i'll talk quickly through about what i pointed to you on three topics so academically i talked about how I really found that the curriculum at Columbia Business School is very focused on innovation and being that leader at the forefront and not just within marketing, which is kind of my space, but within finance, healthcare, social enterprise, pretty much, you know, like the biggest industries that you can go into within business, Columbia has really innovative courses on them and of course like the professors are just like world world class so that's what i pointed to i gave a few examples of the courses that i would take that match my interests and just in general i really liked the cluster system where you get to know your class space very closely meanwhile you're part of this huge cohort of about 800 students and then in the second paragraph for the professional aspect I pointed to the main clubs that I was interested in being part of and how I would contribute to those clubs. So for example, one of them is the Retail and Luxury Goods Club. I found to be like one of the biggest kind of retail and luxury focused clubs of MBA programs out there. You know, to have like something so specific to that niche industry is pretty special. And just detailing out like what kind of treks I wanna go and part of, you know, how I, I would um, contribute to the conferences that they host, you know, all of these things. So get into the details of it, like how you would participate, how you would grow that program, because it's not just about like what you wanna take, but it's also about like what you would give back and contribute to the community and lastly the cultural fit part so here it's it's very personal you know it's a cultural fit it's subjective it's more of a feeling but personally like for me Columbia was kind of the only school where I like really could visualize myself there um, even before applying, I went to the new Manhattanville campus, I walked around, I was able to grab a coffee with a current student who was seriously so kind enough to even meet with me and just like kind of chat about her experience, give me a tour and so that made a big impact on me and of course, if you're not able to visit the campus because it's like in New York City and not everybody lives there, the best way to understand what cultural fit might be is to attend the student-led webinars. Um, so Columbia has these coffee chat sessions or current student like Q&A sessions and they're super generous with hosting these, you know, like hour long talks where you can literally ask anything. It's super open. It's very casual, by the way. You don't have to like stress out about being super formal or anything. So I was extremely appreciative of that. So definitely in terms of culture, like speak to those points of, you know, what the students talked about. There was something about it that resonated with you and really showed you that this is a place that you could you could belong to and contribute towards in the future. So I think that would be a great way to um, complete the section and show why culturally is a great fit for you. So because the second essay, there's so much to get into, um, I didn't really have an intro and conclusion paragraph. I really just had those three paragraphs get into it directly. And that's it. That was kind of how I made the structure. Okay, and the last question is, tell us about your favorite book, movie, or song, and why it resonates with you. And this has a 250 word limit. So 250 words, super short. It's basically just like a paragraph. And, you know, again, very elusive. Like it can be a book, movie or song and why it resonates with you. So in this essay, you know, I honestly, I didn't talk about anything about the MBA or my professional or personal goals at all. I really took it as this is like one more chance for the admissions committee to get to know me like more on a deeper personal level <laughs> and so i didn't touch on anything like goal related here because i felt like in the other two essays like 
it's pretty clear they know where I want to go and why I want to go here blah 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 so I really took this as an opportunity for to explain a little bit like about who I am where I'm from so in this essay I took a lot of time to reflect on this because I could have you know you can go in any direction and I share this just because I want to share my experience with you but don't let my response influence yours if you know what I mean because it's such a personal thing that you need to do that reflection to understand like what is important about your story and your identity that is unique to you and that shows an aspect of your character that um you know you think is important to to share so that's the caveat like don't let my answer like influence yours too much but um, personally, I really wanted to share about my Korean heritage and the fact that my family and I immigrated from Korea to Canada when I was very young. And then we also moved from Canada to the US and then I eventually moved back. So my childhood was a lot about moving, obviously. And with moving comes with the difficulty of finding my identity, of adapting and just celebrating the fact that I'm different and yet that kind of diversity is what makes life interesting. So the book that I chose in this case was Pachinko by Min Jin Lee, which is legitimately one of my favorite books, like it actually is. I also watched the show and I just like bawled my eyes out the, throughout the book and the show. But anyways, like in that book, the reason why it resonated with me so much is because, you know, it's in a different time era, but it's also the story of a Korean family who had to move. They moved to Japan and had to resettle there, readapt to life there while always missing their homeland. And I could really relate to that because Obviously, I'm not saying my life is like hers and as difficult as what she's going to, but just in parallel, that struggle of identity, finding belonging, and in the end, just being strong and understanding that that's kind of the beauty of life is what I spoke on. And so I'm not going to go into like the entire detail of it, but I just really spoke to like the values that were present in the book, why it resonated with me, and how I was able to relate and make parallels with my own life. So all that to say, you know, it can be super personal, but also it doesn't have to be that deep or personal. You know, I've asked about this question, and so if you go to the webinars, you'll see like a lot of people ask about this particular essay question, and they're like, what the hell do I talk about here? But they really say like, whatever rings true to you is probably the right one and just keep in mind it doesn't have to be about like you becoming a business leader it really can be something that's just authentic to yourself what can i say they just they just need to get to know you on a personal level in the most kind of efficient way because they're like going through thousands of applications so as long as it resonates actually resonates with you and it's true i really don't think there is a right or wrong answer and then lastly there is an optional essay at the end it says if you wish to provide further information or additional context please do so in this space and they give you a maximum of 500 words so this is also like again totally optional i didn't write anything they give you kind of that liberty to say if you feel like there's something that we not miss but you feel like the admissions team should know please let us know here and again i don't want to make like a list of things because it's just so dependent on you and your life but if you know anything i'm just gonna leave it at that they're super open and that's what i also appreciated i felt like they're they put in a lot of effort to get to know you and for me personally after reading my essay and my resume and like the whole thing and you really scroll down it i'm like yeah, this is pretty much me on, you know, a dozen pieces of paper and they they kind of know who I am by this point and that's that's kind of like what the application is aiming to do. So don't sweat it, but if you feel like you need to share something, that there is a space to do that. All right, guys, so that is it for the walkthrough, the essays for Columbia Business School. I hope that it was helpful. I just really want to share this because I know it's like a 
big dream for a lot of people and it was for me and I got a lot of help along the way so this is my way of helping back and if you have any further questions please leave them down in the comments below and check out my other MBA application videos so thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time bye